immediately explain these pictures, but it's just, apparently you poor Mississippi. Perhaps a, a nostalgic drive my folks were taking about where they used to live and some of the buildings around that area. You notice they're not called buildings, they're called buildings. Got a bunch of them all buildings. Nice little town, quiet little town. And right there at the railroad track, that same building was there when I was a baby. I believe that's the first Baptist church you pour, where we had R.H.'s funeral. I think that's the only type funeral. Ah, uh, Big Big Daddy. They had part of his funeral procession in there, and Doctor Bill Rogers gave a really good eulogy. Really good man. It's very insightful. Driving in my car down my boulevard in my motor car, motor car. Moving left and right by the traffic light in my motor car. Now this is Peter Holcomb Jr.'s wedding in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Beautiful place, beautiful people, beautiful wedding. Uh, it's a flashback to you, Pora. I really miss the Holcomb family. I, I found some Christmas greeting cards, holiday greeting cards, and other correspondences. It, it's, uh, I met them in Oklahoma City. My dad knew Pete Holcomb before we moved to Oklahoma City through Rockwell International and Ayers Corporation. That dude, Cracker Jack, aircraft salesman. Real nice people. This is Eupora. You know, they've got those real high step ups downtown. More Eupora. I love what Wister said. He said, it's just something about you poor and me that don't jive. Now, New Way, I believe, was started by my uncle, R.H. Gary. Cleaners, and they also sell cleaners products. And the, now, it could be more than just the southern region. It could be a nationwide. Don takes care of that. There's the Upor Post Office. Upor is just the neatest town. I mean, it's it's worth it to me just to get in get in the car, drive there, drive around town for an hour, and drive home. You know, if you've got five hours to spare. There's Jeffrey. My nephew's dad. This guy loves to vacation. He's a great entertainer. I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like a G.I. Joe. And there's wine and water glasses. A nicely set table. There's one of my old beddings.
Don't know where this is. You know, some a lot of these pictures I'm looking at for the first time. There's something familiar about this building. I, I'm, I'm assuming it's in Webster County or maybe Choctaw County. It's really cool when people keep up an old building like that, you know, generation after generation. There's some farm equipment somewhere out in North Mississippi during the wintertime when all you can do is oil it and grease it. Now, this is something, a barbecue grill made from cinder blocks. God bless whoever took that picture. This is what Bob looked like a lot when he came home from those uh, long trips, working on those airplanes, flying those airplanes, selling them. He had to have him some rest now. This picture was taken at 1403. I, I couldn't tell you what year. Uh, it, it may be before 1997. There's another shot of 1403. He's sitting at that... That bar that we had made in '85, Don Evans did the uh, designing and what do you call it? Remodeling. Did a good job of it. Real, really neat concept. Had a real nice shelf built. Junior and Jerry, Lord and mercy. Mmm, gotta love him fireman. To keep a truck clean. Looks to be Aunt Judy, Madison, and Allie. Probably 11 years ago. Uh, this lady looks like she has a hangover. I think that's Jessica. I may have met her a few times on a visit back in... Goodness. I guess I met her in 2000... One, and it looked like she's coming out of the side door of 1402. She was something. There's Big D. That's his 30th birthday. Look at that afro. Get a look at her up, don't he? And, hey, this, this in the corner, this guy's amazing right here. I haven't seen him in years, but that's Jeff Anderson's youngest brother, And he was a real athletic basketball player in high school and college, I believe. And this picture's in Dallas. Dale rented the apartment, uh, you know, get-together game room. They had a pool table, of course. That man has got to have a stick in his hand almost every night. <clears throat> There's Dale. We went to some weird, really weird spot to ride motorcycles where the the land was all eroded. It was, I mean, it was more like enduro bike riding, not really just regular dirt bike riding. It's got interesting posture there. Uh, he he suddenly had a coffee kick in or something. He's out, he's out there taking a dump, having one of them roid attacks. And say some McCrory. Oh Lord. Not exactly Kenny Rogers. Um, now, there's that same piece of land, I told you, where the land's all eroded. I guess, you know, they bulldoze and move that dirt around there and then left, left those places. I, I'm not sure where this is, but it's somewhere uh, close to Bolton. And I'm on a Yamaha MX-175 that 
was a 79 model and I believe that I actually got it Christmas of 80 so it was one of those closeout sales 